If you want to see what happens when I aim coach Radiance first hand, this is the video for you. My coaching consists of two main services. I do live calls and pre-recorded VOD reviews. The VOD reviews are cheaper and faster, but a lot of people don't know they exist. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a VOD review that I live streamed. While this VOD was with a player who I've worked with in the past live, VODs are available for anyone regardless of whether or not I've worked with you and regardless of your skill level. But yes, the player I'm reviewing in this video does happen to be Radiant. Alright, so his notes say that he needs to get better at micro adjustments. He's an 85 centimeter player, uh, Valorant player. Some finger motion mainly from his, okay. Some training, but he mostly ran meme scenarios, okay. He can't adjust, can't dynamic, but he is very fast for 80 centimeters. Um, Okay, I was able to get him to make the finger motions without telling him too much. That's good. So, I'm having him play on 30 centimeters. And now, not bad. Okay, he's mid at dynamic, apparently. Um, okay, that that's kind of weird. Um, has specialized playlists for... Okay, so we should look at if his grip is the same in-game and in aim trainers. That's probably the first thing I'll look into. No real issue with trailing. Needs to be isolated. Uh... Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to pull up the stream back in my second monitor again. Okay, he's figured out the meta, but only for high scores, not for actual success. Yeah, I did. I did. Alright, you've figured out a good way to cheese these bots by just letting your X hair sit there. Try to try to move faster. Try to let your crosshair rest. Try to let your crosshair move to aim at the bot. So you Oh actually actually he does it to some extent. I need to bring my face closer to my monitor to see this. Um, okay. Uh, the previous comment is only true about half of the time. Half of the time. The other half you smoothly adjust to the bot. Try to make it so that you always smoothly adjust and not so that you sit there for too long, period. It's not bad, a comma, it's just a bit slower than you should be going and capping your speed you know it's really kind of like a debate of like what counts as smoothness and what counts as like just sitting there not really aiming at the bot and like what's actually the meta and i mean different people have different opinions i it's my opinion that like if you're not really working on reading the back and forth movement of the bot and just sitting there waiting for it, at a certain point, you're just kind of training yourself to cross air placement. And what's the point of even playing the aim trainer at that point? Like, even if you could do that in game a lot of times. And yeah, it does like. All right. So for this one, this is a Vox, a Vox DS, a small Vox DS. Um, let's see. You barely use any of your mouse pad and reset a lot try to allow for wider motions like basically what you'll see is he'll like go like halfway to the target and then he'll just reset on like some of the longer ones uh that's nice. Bit shaky. Not stable. 
Not bad. Good work. All right. He could definitely be going. Um, hmm. Yeah, honestly, his approach isn't bad. He's a bit shaky. Uh, on this and the previous one, you don't play it too bad, but you may feel better pushing speed slightly and making a few more errors. It's personal preference how exactly you like to practice, but feel free to experiment. Send. Not bad, not bad. Now he's definitely lacking a bit of smoothness, but that's not really super important for Valorant. I guess there's the dynamic clicking aspect of the counter strafing, but you don't need him, but you probably doesn't need to work on this too much. This has accomplished what it needs to do, which is basically just get him comfortable making small vertical movements. So I'm gonna say, looks good, comma, I'm going to edit your routine to drop this. Send. Like, that wasn't, because, like, yes, he needs to work on smoothness, but it's not really super important for him right now. I feel like there's other, he needs to practice that in dynamic clicking first. At least. Like, yeah, he was a bit flicky, but, like, he's playing Valorant, so it's not the end of the world. Um, Crosshair definitely looks a bit big. Yeah, this crosser is going to be too big. Watch. Let's see if we can get him fighting on the far right side of the map, like over there where there's that long pathway. If we can see that, you'll notice that he can't take that fight because this crosser is going to be so big it completely covers the other person. All right. Not bad. He definitely resets a lot. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Let's hope someone peeks. Oh, perfect. There's someone there. Watch that. Okay. Okay, not bad. <clears throat> Definitely a very intuitive shot, so we didn't even really visually confirm much at all there, which makes that crosshair kind of viable. I guess in a if he's skilled enough to do that, then it's not a big deal. But let's just see a few more fights at this range. We might not even get one where he lives long enough to really see it clearly. Yeah, this deathmatch lobby is pretty much good enough that it'll be hard to like show you exactly the issues this has because this cross series main issue is like visual confirmation and micro adjustments and a lot of the time in this deathmatch lobby it's looking like he's going to get one tapped before we can like see the struggles of the crosshair oh right there all right so let's rewatch this a bit because it actually had what i wanted to say peaks and he couldn't really tell uh that he was too high until he stepped back uh, you'll Notice your crosshair is a bit big, which makes it hard to tell exactly where to go to be on someone's head when you whiff your first shot. It's good that he had one whiff in here so that it didn't give me anything. All right, Omen Peaks. And he's strafing with him, and then he... Does he stop strafing to aim? Uh, let's see. Okay, so he doesn't react to Omen's motion well. And then he shoots. Omen's already strafing away. He sees that. He gets on Omen's head, and he just barely misses. All right. Very... Very close fight. Good try, period. Try next... Yeah, uh, you need to work on some more dynamic to win fights like these. Predictable dynamic to win fights like these. Uh, let's replay this real quick by frame. A uh, bit ahead. I uh, suppose. Period, period, period. Period. 
All right, let's see. He flicks. Gets the guy's head while he's still standing still. So if he was a bit smoother. All right, also. Period, also. Try to learn to be a bit smoother in your dynamic. This will be a main focus in our next session. Thanks for bearing through that. I hope it better explains what I do. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next week.